Hello, this is Bob Allen, CTO Bob, and today we'll be unboxing a Lenovo ThinkPad. This is a P340, which is an upgrade to an earlier video we've done, which was a P330. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is a small form factor, an SFF version of it. So you can find out there larger ones or smaller ones. So the tiny is obviously the smaller one and there is the full tower version as well. Go ahead and open this up. So as usual, you're gonna find not only the computer, but the components. Let's take a quick look at the components. First, you're gonna find the power supply here, and you're gonna find also a keyboard, and the mouse should be with the power supply. So let's go ahead and take a quick look to see what comes with it, as far as accessories are concerned. So inside the accessories box, what you're gonna find is a little plastic stand, which will allow you to put the computer in an upright position. You're gonna find obviously the power cable and a mouse. So let's go ahead and put these away. Move them out of the way. And the keyboard is a standard USB. This is a wired keyboard. So for those of you who are thinking of uh, Getting wireless, it doesn't come with it. This is wired to a USB. So I do like the Lenovo keyboards in general. So again, this is small form factor. So this is the size of it. It's relatively small. And as you'd expect, since this is primarily just an upgrade from the previous version. Uh, it has a lot of the same characteristics. So let's go ahead and just open up, break the seal here. So let's start with the front. So you can tell it's very similar to the P330. So this being the P340s. And let's take a quick look together. So let's take a quick look at the front of the unit. As you can tell, it's very attractive. It's got the honeycomb. This uh, feels like, uh, I don't know if it's metal, looks like aluminum to me. Um, you've got is the USBs. Let me just try to squeeze in here. So you've got USB-C, you've got a card reader, headphone jack, mic, power, and hidden in here with this fancy uh, little design here is actually, you see a button there? That is actually for the CD, DVD reader and writer. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the back of the unit. So as you'll see, it's very similar to the previous model. So you're gonna find your dual, actually is that a display? Yes, so you'll find three display ports. You'll find, apart from your USBs, you'll also find the network interface here, which is gigabit and the power supply. This is a 310 watt power supply in there. Now this particular unit, of course, when you purchase these, I get a lot of questions about people that purchase these and say, hey, I didn't get the same CPU. I've got more cores, less cores, more memory. You get to pick what you want in here when you order them. Obviously, if you're going down to a store, you get what they have in stock. And there is a part shortage out there, so you may be limited as to what you can purchase and what you may be able to order at the time of viewing. Uh, this particular one has a 10th generation i7. In this case, it's a uh, 10700, and that is an eight core i7 processor. It's a 2.9 gigahertz. So if you wanted to take a quick look at the inside of one of these, uh, this particular one is a one terabyte SSD drive, which is an NVMe. Okay, so what you'll find on the inside of this one, apart from the NVMe drive, you'll find four slots for DDR memory. So if you were to put uh, larger memory sizes, such as 32 gigs, you can really get a decent configuration out of one of these. So here we go. So as you can tell, everything's very compact. I'm not gonna start uh, taking any of the components out, but you can tell that the, for example, the memory is relatively easy to access underneath here. Usually you simply pull up on these take the front off and then you have access to things below. If you do wanna add more traditional SSD or even drives, you've got yourself a little uh, bracket here that you can put them in. In fact, it looks like it's toolless pretty much. You just pull on this 
and fit them in. And uh, so right now we've got two chips. Actually, it looks like we have a single chip in here, which is a 32 gig uh, memory chip in here. So, so that's about it. I mean, it's very compact, it's very uh, simple. And of course, when you purchase a Lenovo product or an HP um, or a Dell, when you buy these, these are pre-configured for you. You simply turn them on and uh, go through the Windows 10 Pro installation. That's what this one here came with. So that's it. These are great for office work. Uh, again, if you're going to be doing some heavy duty gaming, this is not the machine I would recommend if you'd want to go with some, something that has a larger case, something with a larger power supply. And then I would suggest you go with a GPU. I state that because a lot of people are buying these and then asking me, hey, how do I do this? Um, as you'll notice, there's not an awful lot of space for a video card. If you're gonna to try to get something uh, like a 3080 from uh, Nvidia, it's not gonna fit in here. So just keep that in mind. Otherwise, this is pretty powerful for uh, doing a lot of the office work. If you're either at you know, office uh, out of your home or office at work, this is ideal. And uh, I think these will last quite a long time. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Of course, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'm Bob Pellerin. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments below and we'll see you in the next video.